Why can't you just tell me when we're going to start? I'm just looking for some variety. Whatever. Hey folks. Um, my mind's pretty foggy these days because the kids decided they wanted to participate in Lent this year. So we all had to give up something. And for us, we gave up coffee, which I don't know what we were thinking. But we're on day four now and I've had a coffee headache for the last three days. I don't know what it is. I only have one cup of espresso every morning. And it's not an addiction. We just <laughs> truly just love espresso for the sake of loving espresso. Yes, just once a day. I'm not like drinking cups and cups every day. So whatever's in coffee, man. Anyways, we are making a Mexican pozole today, pork pozole. And it's pretty simple. It's going to go by pretty fast. Ready? Ready. I've cut up pork shoulder into about two inch cubes and I'm just gonna put them in the pot. That's complicated. <laughs> what kind of technique do you use here? Lifting and placing. So it's about three pounds of pork shoulder. And I'm so happy because you can get this at Costco now. And we hadn't, it hadn't been at Costco for years. It just came out a couple months ago. And then we're going to add one onion cut up into quarters. I've got six cloves of garlic that I've crushed. And I would use a nice bay leaf, but I'm out. So use what you have. One bay leaf. And eight cups of water. And that is it for now. And of course, I forgot to bring the lid out. Did I? I did. I'll be right back. Okay, ceiling knob, making sure it's on ceiling. And manual. Is that correct? No. No, right? you put it saute, I think. Or no, you hit manual. You are manual. Oh! <gasps> See, I was right. You're Psych. even like, you're facing the right way. You can't even like read. Okay, that's really mean. <laughs> Can you tell me when it hits 60? Nope. Yes, now you're 64. Too bad. Really? All right, 60 minutes. On regular pressure? Just regular pressure. Regular, high pressure, manual, 60 minutes. And then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. See you in a bit. All right, we had already released, quick released the Instant Pot. <laughs> What's it called? I don't know about you. I'm just going to hit what, cancel, saute, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scoop out that oil first. So I have this oil scooper. You can get them from a dollar store or I think even a kitchen store. Although I don't think I've ever seen one. Only in Chinese stores. And it's great for skimming fat off broth because the broth will slip right through and the oil sits right on top. All right, I'm not making traditional pozzoli because I can't find hominy anywhere. And my understanding—what is hominy? And my understanding is that hominy is a type of corn product that um, they use in pozzoli. So instead, I am going to um, use corn and beans. In the meantime, I have about a tablespoon and a half of oregano and two teaspoons of cumin. And I'm going to add a small can of diced chili. And mine's just mild. You can get it spicy if 
you like it spicier. Then I'm going to add my corn. Have about a cup. And a can of black beans. And we're just going to heat that through. And I've also chopped up some cilantro and some avocado for garnish. And we also have some tortilla chips. And one thing I often forget to do is to salt. So I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of salt. And we're just going to bring that to simmer for a few minutes and then dinner is served. Okay, we just heated this up for a couple of minutes and it's ready to be served. and some cilantro. And that's it. We're going to serve it with some tortilla chips. And if you crumple these on top or crumple them into your soup, adds a little bit of texture. you. Hmm. These are one of my favorite tortilla chips. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram and find me on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and cut. That's not what I say. <laughs>